Hello, this is Shag. Today on Dust. What happened to that one guy's laundry? Is Ginger really Diablo? Find out the answers to these questions and more. But first, let's go to the right. Meanwhile, I said let's go to the right, not the north. Come on. It's King McKingman. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... Is this guy But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. This has got to be General Gaius. Wish, General. Yeah, he's a general. We just need the Where second half you, of my that. Friend? Why are you hiding from me? Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. General Gaius and Dust used to be super bros. But now that he has a new perspective on life... His horrible actions of the past will conflict with his current idol belief, etc. But enough, who cares about that? We're here to investigate the mysterious case of the laundry. If you remember last time, Johnny had sent that one kid to do his laundry, and his sister was like, Where's he at? Oh, oh god, these dudes are back. Okay. Places not to do laundry include... Outdoors in a forest where it is raining and there are explosive enemies everywhere. Though I guess completely eradicating your laundry would technically clear the, the dirt off of it. And there is a key that we cannot access because we still do not know how to get down and get funky. I mean crawl. Well, at least there's no actual combat here. There's two keys there. That's just rude. God. Don't want to go ahead to... Whoa, what? Haha, uh -huh, you guys think you're a boss fight. That's hilarious. Ow. There he is. Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me. Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks! Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're still just monsters, not after that whole, you know, speech from Fuse about how they were his children and whatnot. Who honestly cares? Laundry Quest 2013. Let's go! So, why do I need the White Resonance Gym again? 
Well, I certainly can't get back out normally. I'm assuming that a gate will be there. This is a conspicuous object. Well, here's where Corbin dropped the basket. That was it. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying. Wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... <laughs> I will rain retribution on Gianni's wicked soul. Here's the joke. Both of these options give you a separate achievement. Hmm. So the, the practical thing to do... would be either to not care about achievements at all, or... Pick one, immediately reload, and pick the other. Honestly, the phrasing in that one is hilarious, but... I don't know if Gianni actually deserves Poison Ivy in his laundry. Boo! Boo, I say! You're no fun, Dust. No fun at all. I'm plenty of fun. You've dealt with Gianni's laundry. Of course, the achievement plot will be foiled if it doesn't give me the achievement now and instead waits until I finish the quest. Which, no doubt, it will. Hey! You're not allowed to detonate on me! Detonate on them instead. Oh, ow, I didn't notice you. And that solves that problem. Hey, fruit, where you at? No, really, where was that? I think I turned the steam overlay off, so I'm not even sure if I got the achievement or not. I turned it off so I wouldn't have to see... Someone is playing Team Fortress 2! Every five seconds. And this is the White Resonance Gate. I almost feel, feel sorry for these blobs. Hey. Will I by any chance get those two keys on the way out? Will I finally learn the secret of... No, not quite. This wall chicken, man, it's everywhere. Feels like a mistake in the code to have so much goddamn wall chicken. What's this? The glade. New. What's new? That's where I started. Perhaps worth investigating. I needed spears for you. I don't think I found any spearheads lately. I guess we could check. We have, so far, three resonance gems. These clothes are rather nice. Yes. Let's see, I have four beast spears. Didn't I need eight? Was it? Yep. Let's deliver the laundry. The laundry's more important than the story quests. Must deliver laundry. hi -ya! Oh, wait. You have the quest, too. Oh, hello again! Thank you so much for helping me before! You have a permanent You're expression welcome, of surprise. Corbin. And just be a little smarter next time, alright? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry! <sighs> yes, Fidget. Like <laughs> the laundry. Okay, Laundry-based. Okay. One-liners. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I... You're so strong, I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000-hit combo. Of course he wouldn't. He could do it in his sleep. 
Sleep combo! Fidgets, calm down. Whoa! Do you really think you could do it? Well, there's an achievement a 1, for it. combo? Sure, why not? Yes, oh, I looked wow, up the achievement. Awesome! Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, this one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. Honestly, seriously, really? Have I got what it takes? I don't know, but I think there's even an achievement for a 2,000 hit combo, so I've got to at least have the potential to have what it takes. You weren't standing here before. Still need to deliver the laundry, god dang it. Keep getting sidetracked from this god dang laundry quest. Johnny. Nope, you're too important. Johnny. I will get you. No, no quests. Only laundry. There. All right, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Achievement unlocked, well, I Paragon. I running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient's type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he all right? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, ha, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. I think that line is by far the most ironic line in the game so far. So, yep, it doesn't give me the achievement, though, until I talk to old jerkbag here. Oh well. Perhaps this is time when my odd saving habit that I've developed specifically for this game to confuse everyone watching will come in handy. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh, yeah. Oh? Is... everything all right? No. We travel to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh... no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness! She must be alive! She must have escaped! Please, let me see it! What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is pretty ex is pretty accurate as far as describing my fighting style goes. Hey, wait a minute, don't I have a key? Yes. We must see what's in the box! Okay, so we've got a ring. Three cinnamon buns, one blue mushroom. Intriguing. A perfect bun to icing ratio. Something everyone should aspire to. I've forgotten at this point what I was looking for in my inventory screen. Oh. That... Was that not the box? Hmm.
Oh, my box. I guess I have not found your box, sir. There is apparently a route down from here? Maybe I was just missing something obvious. Hmm. Ah, uh, but... I've got my instant messenger sounds on. Everyone applaud for the cameo of the beat noise. Yay! Guess I should talk to you people. Oh, Dust! We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. You know, if your husband of presumably a long period of time won't tell you what's bothering him, I think you might have some problems overall in your relationship. Just a hunch. Oh, hey, another chess. Forgot about that one. By the way, I have been informed that there are limited numbers of key, a limited number of keys in this shop, and that I am supposed to buy them. They're not spare keys for if you can't find them. They're in fact just limited keys. Aha! It's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me what happened. Did you confront their leader? Yes. He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Also, he made everyone question their ideals. In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denim Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm we found sorry, a side quest. Brand, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor. Called himself Fuse. Dramatic rain. A lizard, you say? Mm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Why would Ginger? Ginger? That girl up on the hill? I mean, other than Her she's family important. was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik Village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. She's undoubtedly leaving town because Dust was previously allied with General Gaius and she wants to get the hell out of Dodge. Also, I thought Fuse and company were allied with Gaius, but I guess we might have two opposing enemy factions on our hands? Instead of, like, one big one? Oh, I went the wrong way. Perhaps I can spawn over near the left in order to talk to you. Ah, Dust! Thank you again for your help. You're old. How's your leg doing? Tell me your problems. I think I'll be alright. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh no! Uh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm. Just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. 
I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. All right. I. Hmm. I guess that's a fairly reasonable thing to ask. I guess I'll talk to Ginger and then head for SideQuestville, because everyone loves SideQuestville. Because these side quests are actually being important. Ginger, wait, don't leave. I have to ask you important I information. Don't get it. Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village. He was a well-intentioned extremist. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. Possibly and also. Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius' <laughs> hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. I was going to do that. You guys really didn't have to interrupt me. Stupid talking sword. Hey. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you left already. Plot dump, please. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters. You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? Fidget. What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He attacked. He destroyed Dedham Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked her village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! That's all I got. Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! Fidget, what? Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Well, at least we've confirmed that only a day has passed. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity. A kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. Fantasy racism. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius's bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Whoa! What was that? I am actually it afraid. Came from the center of the village. I thought we were at the center of the... Oh. What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! Now hang on. Let's not be rash. They could be friendly Eldritch Abominations from Hell. 
And that's just how they mark territory. Uh... Aurora is under attack! Alright, fine. I'll set everyone on fire if it makes you happy. <sighs> that's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Below? Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. You're an important NPC, and if you die, the, the ties of fate will be severed, and so on. I should get underground, you say. Well, there's Mr. I Want a Box. Oh. That's why there's a passage down. His box is probably somewhere down here. Hello, what's going on? <laughs> well now, would you look at this? Seems our village has got itself a new basement. Oh, I love basements. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Augustine, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! Let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. You need swords to have fun. This is a true fact. I thought I was gonna go to side quest build, but it appears that main quest has... The main quest has, uh, invaded the side quest hub, if you will. End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's got to be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing is right, because I'm not going to go that way first. If you're going to have a cutscene about it, we got to see if there's anything over here. I mean, really. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. Oh, is this a challenge I think area? I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um... I certainly hope you're safe. There is a save point over there. The save point right between the choice of a deadly challenge arena and a one million bajillion foot drop into the abyss. Welcome to the challenge arena. Defeat enemies and destroy lamps for points. You will lose points by taking damage. My personal best is no. Okay. That... Wait, is this like an obstacle course? Ow. Because I was expecting combat. You know... Oh, there's the combat. Ha, huh, who am I kidding? That's not combat. That's what we call... Um... Trivial. Yes. I am really bad at... Ah, there's a little counter showing all the lamps that I managed to break. Gah. Fire hurts. Gah. How much wall chicken do I have to eat? Well, the real answer would be none if I was careful enough. But I have a time limit. It's like a license to not be careful. Ugh. Fine.
that was the end. Oh man, I was really close to three stars. Oh. What's Well, it's a big defense increase. Can't go without one of those. But do I get bigger rewards if I do it better, other than an achievement? Let's find out. I'll give this an extra shot. Time to eat cinnamon buns. I don't think I'm gonna do much better this time. Let's be honest here. Good at video games. No. I got the three star rank this time. I missed the first lantern because I'm an idiot. I can still see Dust's hand through the challenge screen. That lion looks sad. He's probably sad by how much I suck and or how much... How I just ate like ten apples at once. Well, that was fun. There's an achievement for getting four stars on one of those. I think there was also an achievement for getting two, so at least I got something. Challenge areas are marked on the map with red. We. We. I was hoping for that. At least one screen of just going straight down. A red resonance gym. Those are things that I have not yet seen. My screen isn't scrolled to the right enough. To calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. It's a very I legitimate see nothing, point. Fidget. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? I hate caves. Our kind isn't meant to be underground. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush. <laughs> Uh, Fidget's Contradictory Phobia Time, starring Fidget, I guess. Oh, it's just one of these things. Come on, Fidget. You, like, destroy everything. It's mostly you who's doing the work here, if you think of- Whoa! Chapter 2! Darkness! It's dark because you are in a cave! I missed doing a bunch of side quests because I'm in a cave. At least I delivered the laundry to that jerk. Cinnamon Caverns. No, Ceremon. Caverns. A new region has been renewed. I can probably go back and do those side quests as soon as I have access to teleporting to the world map again. But for now, the plot... Beck, ow. Oh, that was a level up. 
It's hard to identify the difference between level ups and explosions. Especially since I cause many explosions of a vertical nature myself at this point. Such as those. I wonder if the shopkeeper has a place up in these caves. I mean, he's a shopkeeper and he does what he wants, so... Man, it's getting really freaking dark! It's getting really hard to see. I'm starting to regret coming down here. <laughs> I was regretting it minutes ago! He is ahead of the curve. I'm sure starting to regret jumping off a 500-foot cliff. Oh. Lucky for us, it's light, like, five feet to the right. Uh... Well, this is an interesting place. Oh, god dang it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you think the villagers know about this place? No, but this guy does. Our search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area. Meet fantastic new enemies and then set them on fire and kill them immediately. I like watching them burn. There's a material of some kind. By the way, I still haven't sold all of the numerous materials that I probably could to the shopkeeper man. Ah, you're still alive! I hate living things that aren't me. Oh, there's a shopkeeper. How about that? Fancy having a place so, here. You have slain the one known as Fuse. This is true. I had no choice. He'd lost his mind, murdered many innocents. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods. They are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. He probably is a Moonblood. I was about to say that, but the game keeps interrupting me. Except for that one time that I was commenting on something literally an inch before it happened. That was a few seconds ago. So, oh, I'm gonna buy another key since I can. And now, switch to cell mode. You do not have one of these. You do not have one of these. You do not have one of these. Junk. Serves no purpose. Sell it. I don't believe you! I'll keep all of this junk. Oh, I can just buy more of those and give them to the guy. Where's my high price at? There. Oh, I can't just buy them because he only has the ones I've given him. Your transaction now. is most appreciated. The materials you sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. Oh, I guess I only needed to do that once to complete that quest. Oh. I hope the merchant doesn't mind that I just set him on fire, like, a million times. Fire is good for you! It warms the body, and the soul, and pretty much everything else in its general vicinity. Maybe too much, some would argue.
Today's general vicinity of fire is everywhere. <laughs> Howdy. I guess I did just buy a key, so I might as well. Oh, I could buy another key. But I think we should go forward. Brutal Augment! Coming this summer on Steam. I already had one of those, though. Treasure chests in this game are not really organized by level of usefulness. There's still more to be found up there, but... Uh, Now I want to look. Well, that was easy. I had a suspicion that that was the case. How I did, I have no idea. I keep doing this. Like in the last level of Monster Party, when I immediately went left, when there was no indication that you were supposed to, and that had been tripping people up for the past decades that Monster Party has existed. Down or up? Well, up is the least close to progress, so it must have something special in it, right? Or these platforms are utterly and completely pointless? I am suspicious. Nevertheless, I will press on. Hello, obvious key. The amount of times you can see a key through the wall in this game so far. has been quite a high number. Wait. Uh, that has pulled the fruit up there. Also many enemies. Hey. What is this? When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. I'm not sure if that means you can't wait poison out, or if it just means that Dust likes conserving his inventory items until the final boss, like everyone. Where was that? Uh huh. Really, there's three keys there. Dust. You need to weigh more than dust in order for me to circumnavigate this air current. Freaking crawl spaces, honestly. When do I get crawl power? Oh. Dust, wait. I would have waited this anyway. This creature is too well defended for a straightforward assault. We'll see about that. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. 
It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a parry, like so. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Very well. Be careful. Oh no. I actually do have to- oof. I predicted this, didn't I? Oh, like there would be an enemy that relied on parrying. And somehow he defends himself from a cavalcade of flaming death and ruin by putting a shield in front of him when it is coming down vertically. Game mechanics, you s you, you, you. You can only make up for it at this point by giving me the freaking crawling ability already. Which he probably won't do. I totally called the parrying requirement on a certain enemy though. What? <laughs> was that a moonblood? Whoa, what was that? I'm not sure, but it sure did run off in a hurry. Didn't look like a lizard. It's the cave person. Yes, we did. I'm missing treasure everywhere. Tell me about it in the YouTube comments section later. Or you know, don't. Well, save point was five feet from the previous one. I guess they thought that Perrymon might have caused a bunch of trouble. He caused a little bit of trouble, but I had enough cupcakes that it didn't matter. Any problem can be solved as long as you have enough cupcakes on hand. Oh wait, I don't have any cupcakes anymore. Well, I'm screwed. Ah, just kidding, I have fire. I will bake all of my enemies into delicious cupcakes. Okay, obviously we need to go down here. Oh. Hello, Blueprint. Ring of the Miner! Oh. Uh, we do not have the required materials. Hello, Hologram. How are you? Gold drop bonus, eh? Well, so far I don't- Oh, come on. So far I don't have a gigantic lack of money problem. Only a minor one. And only when I want keys. Which I do. But I'm not gonna go back to Mr. Shopkeep unless he happens to be close by in a forward direction. Just because I don't feel like backtracking right now. Also, we were supposed to stay above ground. I mean, on the above path. Hmm. You know, for some reason this area suddenly reminds me a little bit of Metroid. You had a lot of defense, but not enough. There's only a brief flash of Metroid thinking there. Ah! Wait! Yeah, probably a lizard. Let's follow him. No objections from Fidget, I guess. Let's follow him. Let's go in a completely different direction. Of course, maybe he did go this way, and it might be a bit foolish for me to assume he can't jump acrobatically because he had to pass through the previous room somehow. Ugh. Burn! You make a delightful candle! Jeez, they really like save points. 
Oh, hi. More fidget! Yes! There weren't enough things on fire and dying already. Hmm. I guess I killed things that were up here. How about that? Maybe I'll... I wonder if I'll get the wall climb ability before I get the crawling ability. Maybe I should just be thankful that I don't require an ability to push crates in this game. One that I would get halfway through the game after facing Legion or something. Cough, Circle of the Moon. Dust, Circle of the Moon Bloods. Coming this summer. Wait, it is this summer. Gasp. Man, spamming magic barely even matters. I just do what I want. I have to wait down- I have to wait for everything to fall down from the sky after I destroy it, just to make sure. Are you a slightly different color, or is that my... ...imagination? Now you're the color of nothing. You just walked into that one, I mean, come on. Anyway, is there anything over here? Because there was totally a place that I could go, maybe, I think. No, maybe there wasn't. Okay, that was... that was the illusion. Or my imagination. At work. Something happened there, and it was beautiful. Spear dust. Why am I getting stuff for augments that are really bad? Unless, of course, they are materials for later. Oh god. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Ah. Stuff pretzels in your face and then throw fire everywhere! Ah, this is the life! Oh wait, I'm silenced. Shit, shit. Probably one of the few times I've sworn, actually. <laughs> At least casually. On video. Oh no, I have forever become PG-13. What will I do? Burn the ESRB! Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I'm silenced again. Or fidget is silenced. Can we get like a, oops, I silenced dust instead? comical shrug moments so that I can just continue to spew fire because I like fire. You might have noticed. Jesus. I guess I shouldn't complain about too many save points. There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. <laughs> they react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. Do they? <laughs> That's not explosively. Come on. I expect real explosions from my explosions. I mean, honestly. Anyway, if this is the way we're supposed to go, I should go down and left instead of just continuing left. That's important.
pretty sure I was down there to begin with, so... Oh my god, it is the mystical black sheep of power and righteousness. And I can't get through. Sheep, no. Are you one of my sanctuary friends? I want to poke you on the nose and make little baby talk noises. Damn it. In what way in what way am I expected to access this sheep? I do not know. Can I erupt from underneath? Just double check for any passageways or some such. Eh, it doesn't seem to be the case. Perhaps I will fall down upon him from above. And this wall will be breakable from the other side? I'm gonna go with that theory so far. The sheep is more important to me than anything I have thus far encountered in this cave. Well, except for destruction, but you know, that's sort of everywhere, so... Gotta spread it around. Let's save again! It's safe everywhere, all the time. Don't care about you, Bubble Sprout. Nope. Aha, there is indeed a down path. Don't care. We should tread carefully, and by that I just mean run through all of them because they will never hinder you otherwise? I mean, I mean they won't actually get in your way if you just sort of, you know, like, uh... Yep, there's a definitely a path to the right. I was correct. Just casually setting things I pass by on fire, don't mind me. Sheep. No! No, the blasted crawl! No! You separate me from my sheep! No, 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 no! Why will you do this to me? Ah! You know, I don't even really like sheep that much. Sour grapes. Seriously, that crawl thing is getting annoying. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I guess that's one way to change areas. That was not the correct way to go. Ahem. You have chains on you. Look, he's in trouble! Ah! Leave me alone! Picking on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust. Or this battle will be over before it begins. I'm gonna bet they poisoned me. Oof! This battle was already over before it began. Gee! Not fond of this. I think I was poisoned. Oh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Let's work out our differences peacefully, one at a time. Ow. Uh, not even my pretzel supply can save me. Ah, uh, what? Hey. Oop. Got one of them. I need to buy more healing items. 
Oh, come on, I just saved you from two giant rock and monsters. there he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him. And maybe get out of this raining death. But we are the raining death, Fidget. <laughs> uh, I'm so dumb! Uh. Oh, hey, sheep. I guess I get sheep after all. Mud pot. Village of the underground cave salamanders? And I'm still poisoned. Howdy, sheep. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. And then the cave salamander laser defense system activates, and I melt, right? Right? Why can't I engage into political discourse with these sheep or some such? <sighs> there he is! Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears <laughs> about this! I'm sorry, Mama! What? I didn't expect Good King of the Hill to go up you've on You've gotten here. yourself hurt! <laughs> King under the hill? How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. It's called jumping. That's how I jumped. She does see that I can fly, right? Oh yeah, there's that sure too. To tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. <laughs> back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the you surface. You sound like a country bumpkin. I think bumpkin. I'd remember seeing a talking... Flying weasel cat thing down here. Of course, here. that's the joke. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is. We got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Fantasy races in part two. That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! You still have it. Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help. Stop saying that! Pa's gonna die if we don't do something! Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up. But every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, 
I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So, you're <sighs> heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Hooray! Now that we've encountered... Well, I guess from this perspective... That is a side-scroller. Down is the best equivalent to south you've got? So maybe that explains? Heck, I don't even know what I'm talking about. And I am in the south, in reality. Can I talk to a sick man? He's sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Or is it so peacefully? I would assume not. You know, given the circumstances and all. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see. Smobop. I hope one of these things is not named Smogon, or I swear to God. Um, I guess I'll talk to you. What? Me? It's a flying cat! <laughs> <sighs> she's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we've met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. <laughs> Don't worry, Fidgets. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Oh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Box? Hey, Dust, look! That must be Reed's box! Gas plot hey, twist! Tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew. Good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> Children! <laughs> Freaking children making me explode by talking to them. I think once we get to the next save point, that'll be. that'll be it. Hello, old man, Mick old man. Are you going to tell me how to crawl? Because I can see you standing by that conspicuous goddamn crawl space. Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose <laughs> in the Saber Village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, <laughs> seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I should have thought of sliding thoughts, instead of... find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks, after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. 
All right, Blob. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Do you still have a quest? <laughs> you don't find a stick? No! Well, okay. All right. Um, hitting sticks. Got it. Sounds like I could use that as a useful weapon augment, honestly. Uh, oh my god, it is Magical Black Sheep number two. There are two of them. They are mystical. He can see me through the wall and they know it. I must have it. Uh, let's finish collecting quests from this hub. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Yes. Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless, forever. I'm sorry, look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave mud pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Hooray! A thing. Do I have to equip it? <laughs> okay, I never thought to do that before. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, ring, 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 ring. Glows in the dark. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Pope Pop. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. Oh. I'll keep my eyes open for them. They're not for me, well, they're for thank this you, guy. Son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. If I find all six of your sheep for you, will you let me have the ability to transform my creature into a sheep as well? Oh man, a reference to freaking black and white one. How many people got that? Anyone? Please find my flock of sheep. God. It's been a while. I don't know if I ever bothered to do that quest in that game. Uh, rambling aside, where is the save point? It's funny because I was inundated in them not a few seconds ago. They were probably run like right around these parts. But that was predictable. Alright! Um, there wasn't a shop in that village as far as I know. Hopefully there's one nearby for next time. Next time! Is the lady corrupt, or is the water corrupt? One of them has to be. Or both! And who... Who is responsible? Oh wait, no, we already know that. General Gaius. It's probably him. Unless it's Ginger because she's Diablo. Yeah, I'm gonna save and quit now. Yeah, you know what, I don't care enough to keep a save file to poison Gianni's laundry with. I'll, I'll do that on my own time, like in a 
separate difficulty run or something. Whatever. This has been Shag, and I hope this cave doesn't cave in while I'm standing here, because it looks...